Welcome to tip 6 of the Blue River Creative Adobe Acrobat Top 10 Tips. Today we're going to be taking a look at adding buttons to PDFs. Say you have a monthly electronic newsletter that you send out to your clients or your students and there's a lot in it, there's a lot of subjects and, and some people might just want to go and read specific areas of that newsletter and this is where buttons come in really handy because you can almost set it up like it's a website with its own navigational system but it's a PDF. So I've got my flat PDF here and I've got this little pre-made menu happening over here. Now I'm going to show you how to build a button on top of a design that's already ready for a button to be placed on top of it. But we'll also run through starting a button from scratch. If we head up here to Tools, Advanced Editing, Button, we then drag over the area we want to become our clickable button and then Release. You then just name your button just for your own reference. This won't be seen by the way. So I'm just going to type in globalization. Click on show all properties. Here we go. Now most of this stuff isn't anything to worry about. You just want to make sure your form field says that it's visible just down the bottom there. Otherwise the button won't work. Now we click on appearance. Now this is going to fill in the square that you just created in grey and we don't want that, it's going to ruin our design so we just want no colour because we've already got a little pre-made design ready to be our button so we'll click no colour. So none of this text will appear so we'll just leave that. We'll leave it as label only, that's fine and behaviour, we'll leave it as invert because that's pretty standard, it just means when you click down on your button what happens to the box that you selected so that people know that the click has worked. Label, we don't need to worry about that, that's only if we're starting our button from scratch. So go to Actions. Mouse up basically means this is how your button will be activated. So mouse down is obviously when you click down on your mouse and then mouse up is when you click off it. Mouse up is basically how most buttons on the web are activated so that's pretty standard, we'll stick with that. Alright, now you want to select an action. Now there's plenty you can do with buttons but for the moment we're just going to click on Go to a Page View. Now click Add. Now the PDF is wanting us to scroll to the page that we want the button to go to when it's activated. So here's my globalization page. And then we click Set Link. Close. Now we click on the hand tool so we can test out our button. And click down. There we go, straight to our globalization page. Now it's important to remember that when you're creating all these buttons to go to different pages that on every single page you pop a return to the menu button so that people can easily navigate back to the main menu. So we'll make a button again but we're going to start from scratch. So we'll head up to Tools, Advanced Editing, once again on Button and now we drag over the little area we want to be our button. We'll, we'll hide it down here just so it's nice, subtle and out of the way. Now we'll name our button Return to Menu for our own reference, this won't be seen. Show all properties. Right now we'll head to general. That's all fine. Um, now we've got to pick a background colour for our button because we are starting it from scratch. So white will be fine just for now. Now to options. And label. Now this is what, uh, what words will appear on your button on your PDF. So we'll type return to menu. Everything else is fine, just set up like last time. So go to Actions, make sure it's on Mouse Up, go to a page view, now click Add, then go to and set your link on the page that you want, which will be our main menu. Now close that. Alright, now let's test it with the hand tool. Excellent, back to the menu and then back to our globalization page and back to our menu. So you just create buttons for each page that you want to go to and make sure that there's a return to menu button down the bottom of every single page. Now we're going to scroll down to um, a page that I've got a video and I'm going to show you how you can turn a button um, into something that will play media. So once again Tools, Advanced Editing, Button, drag over the area you want to become your clickable area for your button, type in the name of the button Play video. Now click Show All Properties. All the same as last time, except we'll just make sure it's white and not grey. Once again, we haven't already designed a button this time, so we're starting it from scratch. 
we'll type in our label play video so that the end user knows that's what the button does now here under select action instead of putting go to a page view we want to play media so we'll scroll down to media play media uh, acrobat six or later we're just going to add now it'll search for any media that's on your PDF and you just select which which video or which media that you want to play so there's our video here we'll just click OK to the hand tool to preview everything and click down and there we go and that's a little bit about buttons next week we'll take a look at how to put a movie into a PDF Oh, 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 oh,